guys, what's up? As many of you know, I've recently introduced the interactive input fields component and I've just made some changes that I wanted to show you and also show you the possibilities that you can achieve with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, and this is actually something that someone asked me. They asked me if I, could it be possible where if I fill something here, then on the next screen of the prototype, we can actually have those fields appear. And that is completely possible. And let's just go ahead and actually see how to do that. Well, in order to use the plugin, you can just go to the plugin section and search for editable input fields. And I'm going to get one from community and from my own development environment that I just am working on. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add what name, role and email. So we need three fields. So I'm going to say I, I want to create three fields here. It's hopefully going to create it soon. As you can see, it's already here. So we're now going to go ahead and copy this and paste it instead of this. Sorry, I don't know what I did. Command C, Command Shift R to replace them. Very similarly, I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to go ahead and replace it here. And I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to replace it here. Now, obviously, as mentioned previously in my previous video, you can change the text. Actually, you can customize it however you want. And now we have a placeholder text as well. So you can say enter your name, enter your role and enter your email because those are the three fields that we have. We have that done. We're going to link this button. Actually, it's already linked and we're going to link these these this text that we actually want to update based on the input that we enter here. And the way to do that is you just directly go to the text object here or the text item here and just check which variable it's actually linked to. So it's linked to 18. This role is linked to 19 and the email is linked to 20. So we're just going to go here. We're going to say this one is going to be linked to our 18th variable. This one is going to be linked to our 19th variable. And this one is going to be linked to our 20th variable. And that's pretty much it what you need to do. So now I'm going to enter my name, Asad Mahmood, and we're going to go ahead and say senior UX designer. And then the email is something like this. And once we do that and click submit, all of these values are going to be shown here. So yeah, I mean, these are just some of the updates that I made. Let me know what you think about it. One other important thing that I actually wanted to let you know that I've updated. So previously, if you wanted to generate three things, you can only generate them once. And then if you were to add a new one, that may break it and certain things may not work. But now even that is working. If I now want to add another input field for whatever reason, after I've already added these input fields. So for example, I'm just going to add that one here. And this is going to be our, I don't know, maybe school or something along those lines. So I'm going to say enter your school. And this one is automatically going to work. It's not going to cause any issue. So as you can see, the focusing and everything should already be working. And adding a new input field afterwards is not going to have any issue. And we can now go ahead and actually add our school here if we actually want to. So this is our role. And we're going to go ahead and actually say this one is going to be linked to our last variable that we created, which is going to be school. And now if we type, try to type things out, ASD, 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 and let's type school here so we can see it and then submit. So we have all of that and we also have school. So that's pretty much it for the demo. Do subscribe, hit the bell icon and let me know if you want to see any other updates. See you later.